Yo, 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 this is your boy Fireworks, and welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, okay? So I have a request here that was given to me by one of my good friends, Kixo. I know you might have uh, heard me speak about him on the channel. Um, he does have his own YouTube channel. It's Two Sweet Meat Bro. It's like a podcast uh, with him and his homie. They talk about wrestling. So if you guys are huge wrestling fans, I'll have the link in my description so you guys can go and subscribe to them. Kixo's hilarious and a great guy, and he's got good commentary. Uh, but he's into the wrestling. So yeah, I know you, a lot of you all asked us about wrestling reactions and stuff like that, which we'll get to. Uh, but someone who is on top of it right now, Kixo. But Kixo told me, that he wanted me to check out uh, Childish Gambino's uh, Atlanta, which I've never watched, so don't crucify me. Uh, but he told me that I should check out season four's episode eight. Um, he told me to go into it blind, so I have went into it blind. I really don't even uh, know the name of the episode. This is off of FX. Uh, so as far as I know, like, it just says C or uh, season uh, four, episode eight on the title. Um, so I don't know anything about this. I'm going into him blind. But Kixo said that he wanted to see my reaction to this. And also he said that it has nothing to do with the rest of the season. So there's really no context needed to watch the rest of it. So here I am. All right. So. Before I get into this, make sure you guys are leaving a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are leaving a like if you're new here to the channel. Make sure you guys are hitting subscribe and tapping that notification bell so when I do a video just like this, you all will get it first. This is Childish Gambino's FX show Atlanta, but this is season four, episode eight. All right, I'm going in. From Fireworks, this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, and we back. Request of Bond lawyers, we acknowledge that the story you're about to see has been fact checked. Might not be endorsed by Walt Disney Company. Oh God, it's something like this. <laughs> the 1990s were a golden era for the Walt Disney Company. East earned a Best Picture nomination, and The Lion King broke box office records. World yeah, I was gonna say The Lion King was big. I don't remember the other two movies being huge. Lion King was huge. A state jury acquitted four LAPD officers on almost all charges in the beating of Rodney G. King. Yeah, Rodney King. It was a pivotal moment for black culture in the 90s that another cultural milestone emerged from that fateful day. Oh, what the hell's going on? Disney names first black movie and TV head. How did this young, unassuming animator from East Atlanta wind up- Hold on, what? The company's most powerful moment in time. What? The goof who sat by the door? Bro, what the fuck kicks? <laughs> Hold on, bro. If this ain't real, I'm going to be weak. So they have a black dude who was the Thomas Washington story. A black dude who was being the CEO of Disney. I have to look this up myself. But I, it's probably fucking full, full of shit. Believe it or not, we named him after Tom Jones. Oh, my God. That's who Carlton loved. Tom Jones! But when we had our boy, we knew that he was going to be different. We had to name him Thomas. I mean, he was always drawing on his desk uh, in, uh, in the margins of his notebook. Bruh, Kixo, is this real, bruh? This is being portrayed as it's real, bruh. I want to know if it's real. He was obsessed with this one cat named uh, Astro Boy. Okay, yeah, never was an Astro Boy fan. One time he asked me, he said, what if Astro Boy came here and saved us? I said, saved us from what? Everything. I guess I, I can see where I can, where he's coming with it, I guess. And when we were growing up, it was like unfair, unfair, you know? <laughs> we couldn't even ride our bikes outside because niggas will take it from you. Yeah, unfair. <laughs> was he talking about his bike or the kid's bike? You know, we would call him white. We was just messing with him. Um, I think he was just trying to fit in. And the kids would call him on it. I mean, he just wanted to draw. And he didn't understand why that was. Hold on, y'all called a black kid white? What the fuck? I told him one day ain't none of this gonna even matter. 
Bruh, it, I don't know. This is being portrayed a certain way. <laughs> and I think it's low-key hilarious, but it's kind of got me questioning a lot. Thomas showed a lot Mark of Mark in his application. He wrote about how he wanted to work. See, when I see pictures like this, bro, I'm like, bro, is this real at all? <laughs> but with his application, a little flip book. Can you see this? I mean, he had the sensibility of a true Disney animator. Hmm. Because he sent a flip book. I can see it. Thomas used this text of a series he called Goofy Please. After class one day, he- Hold on, what? For real? This kid is from another universe. Thomas would be like, hey, come on, you know Goofy's a <laughs> What? <laughs> I never even looked at Goofy like that. For his thesis, he made this incredible short film. On a rocket ship high in the, the Little Prince 1990. Once we buried our uncle, my uncle Ronnie, man, he, uh, it's like his brain exploded. It was either the funniest thing or the saddest thing you'd ever seen. Huh, bro, y'all gotta tell me, bro. I'm gonna have to fact check this, bro, see if this is real, bro. This is real, this is crazy. Washington come to Disney right out of college. Thomas started out at Disney as an assistant animator on DuckTales the movie. It wasn't necessarily- Bro, this shit might be fucking real, bro. This might be just legit real. I'm gonna be blown away. He called me. I just wanna go down there. And I told- What the fuck, bro? So this is, uh, this is all during the Rodney King shit? He actually called me one time and was like, if I ever get the chance to do a movie around here, I'm not holding back. So what was the movie that came from that? We all voted for this guy named Tom Washington. Thomas Washington was an animator. People were pretty upset when they found out they voted for the wrong man. Hold on, shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, no way. We tried to handle it smoothly, but Thomas held our feet to the fire. So, so, they, so they had to keep Thomas in charge. This cat was on my line with some food. He's the CEO of Disney. And then, you know, he took me to his office and people was like greeting him. <laughs> he, took me to my, he took me to his office and people was like greeting him. Right. He realized it. Washington goes, and Pluto's a dog. Why is he letting Mickey do that to one of his own? Mm. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's called ruffling the feathers. That's what he did. As soon as Thomas came in, he said, I want you to be lead director on this. On what? And he said, the blackest movie of all time. I wonder what the blackest movie of all time was, though. That's what I want to see it. I want to see what it is. He wanted to make a movie that covered all this and more. Hold on, he did a goofy movie? No way. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy with you. He passed out. <laughs> he was like, oh, no, nah, I can't be with my daddy. Oh, not all summer. I love that movie. Wow. So did he really do, did he really do the Goofy movie, bruh? To give you a little context, when a Goofy movie came out, masculinity in the media was in a really weird place. Yeah, I can, I can, I can agree with that. And welcome to yep. Men on Films. The show that looks at movies. There's a lot of this going on middle of the 90s, bro. <clears throat> you had to live it. Nuanced portrayal of a black man whose priority is his family. Put forward the philosophy that just love your children for who they are and deal with the pain that the world is not going to love them like you do. Hmm. Wow. That's crazy. I think in the movie, Dad laid in a lot of things. In the beginning, Max... Sings a song. Dunk yeah, that shit, was, that shit was live growing up, bruh. I think my dad was making a comment on black exceptionalism. That's why he made it a fishing trip. It's the same one we used to take. Wow, that's dope. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. A lot of the film had deeper meanings. It meant a lot more in Thomas's eyes. Dad wanted every black person in America. What's crazy, bruh, is when I see him, I see the Goofy movie, bro. I feel like that he was so special that he embodied it, bro. I can see it, like, in his expression. He reminds me of the re expression from that movie. No. 
Now see, this is what I'm talking about. In order to draw authentically black characters, one has to know black people. Hung out, went to a couple black cookouts, said the wrong thing, got his ass beat, but- Bruh, shut up. So this is what tells me this is bullshit. <laughs> Thomas tried to pull back and be more subtle with his message. <laughs> This is comedy now, bro. Sold me for a little bit, but then just made me laugh. He said he didn't want Mickey in the movie. I can remember Thomas ranting in his office. They're trying to make me put this white boy in my movie. He's a mouse. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, bro, <laughs> comedy. He would be screaming, we don't dance like that. Bring his friend's kids in. They would moonwalk and, and you know, do all like... You know, this stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, hey, bro, it must have been very frustrating. Like, he trying to get this black shit out, and you got none but white folks to work with, which is a nothing against him, but sometimes in these things where you need things, they don't understand it. And so it gets portrayed the wrong way. Drinking whiskey with Robert Townsend and Janet Jackson. Well, Damn. When I poked my head in, Thomas went, who ordered the white rice? <laughs> they all just left. <laughs> Damn. So, I mean, I, I have, I, look, this is comedy. All right, this is comedy. Brian McKnight. It was crazy. The parties were insane. Imagine Disney after the Lion King. Bro, they got Sinbad to do this. Stops in one of the rooms and plays me some of the music. And I'm like, but he asked me, who do you like right now? You know, I, I've been listening to this Tevin Campbell. And Bro. Bruh, is this real? So I'll tell you something. Because I love Tevin Campbell. Yeah, see, I already got the bot. I already got it. For three months, a lot of them were saying, Kevin. Yeah, I'm weak, Kevin Campbell. Yeah. Thomas was a cool cat. But the brother definitely had a chip on his shoulder. Tevin Campbell was, hey, and in, in his prime, bro, his voice was crazy. He also uh, sung uh, Ashley at Happy Birthday on uh, Fresh Prince. One morning I walk in the studio, I got my coffee, I'm ready to sit down, get to bed. It's like, psst, psst, come here, come here. He's in his cubicle, he got this briefcase, he opens it up, gun inside. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And he's like, this is to remind me, you don't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> hey, I was gonna say, yeah, you don't know me. Yeah, I feel you. I kept saying, Thomas. You're gonna lose him. But all he kept saying is, but this is for him. This is deep. He did this chilling laugh. <laughs> but broken, and it, it was terrifying, man. Damn, what the hell? Really thought he was goofy. He gives me that feeling, that vibe. But legally, he was still the CEO. Gentleman's show of hands was uh, surprisingly hard. Bro, why he did? <laughs> they offered him like seventy-five thousand dollars. No. What? Seventy-five grand? Million dollars. Okay, I was gonna Paid say over ten years. That's how serious it was for us. Yeah, I was gonna say seventy-five million. And he had a lot of different black empowerment groups, all wanting as much influence and subtle shout outs as the other. I think that he had made way too many deals at one point. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like he got over his head. It all came down to the end of the movie. Oh man, the end of the movie. I heard he wanted Goofy and Max to get pulled over early on. Bro, what? It wasn't supposed to be all honky dory. Goofy was supposed to get shot at the concert. Black man runs on stage like that at a major venue. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> Next question, man. No, I don't. Damn, it's deep. I, yeah, you wouldn't ask his father about his death, bro. What the fuck? Why would you um, do that? Well, partly because of his his mood at the end, but um. You know, there was also the tape. What tape? Oh, God, there's footage. For the first time ever. All right. Oh, man. Express permission? I'm close. I'm, I'm, I'm close. I gotta finish this. 
Yeah, this is crazy if this is real. I don't think it's real, but it's still funny. And a dope story, too. When the news finally broke that Dad was officially out, one final screening of what they were able to piece together behind his back. For what they were able to piece together behind his back? Bigfoot stuff that put him over the edge. They'd added it without his knowledge. Max would finally understand what Goofy had been fighting to make him understand all along. Bro, what? <laughs> you gonna see? You gonna be proud of me? Bro, this makes me want to see what the Thomas Washington version of Goofy movie would have been. <laughs> Cause they had him, they had, oh boy, the cops shoot Goofy, bro. What the fuck? I heard the door close and I went out after him parking lot. He was gone. Something, I don't know, there was a look in his eye. He, he just got Bro, is that a picture of Thomas Washington on that nigga's wall in there? Damn. Damn. No way. We actually watch, we watch the movies a lot. Damn. Took a took a deep dive in the t in the in the tempo for sure. It's so funny to me is those drawings he did in college, black folks living their lives. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Being real, bro. This is real. This is crazy. This is a real crazy story, but I don't know if it's real. But still, dope story in general. That's a dope picture. And along the way, he made the blackest movie of all time. Did he really do it though? I gotta look this shit up. Hey, if he did, this is this is awesome. Like, holy fuck. All right, you guys. So that was Atlanta season four. Episode eight. I think that is awesome. Bro, like, I'm gonna be real with you. If that's a if that's a real story, that's dope as shit. If that's a real fucking story, that's that's crazy. That's like, like that's, but if not, it's still a greatly written story too. Cause it, you want to know when you look at it, like when you look at Disney, like in the nineties, you want to know how the Goofy movie came about. You know, like the rest of the movies, bro, were like you know, and if you go like on down the line, Snow White, Little Mermaid, The Jungle Book, you talking about some like. Those are like early, early Disney movies, Aristocats, where it really doesn't have anything ethnic, which, you know, I'm not really big on, but, or care for, I don't care either way, but uh, Goofy movie was like probably the first Disney movie that punched me in the mouth, bro. I had the, this cassette tape, the songs was awesome. Uh, I know pretty much every friend that I had, you know, growing up, us black kids, Goofy movie was it for us, so me hearing this story, it almost makes me seem like that, bro. Some of this might be real, or a lot of it is real, bro. Like, I think that the the story, the show in general, is fire. Like how what they just did. Like, I want to show white gold. I wish that uh, she would have been here to check it out now. But uh, I think that, that that this episode was awesome. If it, if it is dope, like, bro, Childish Gambino is awesome for this. Um, but yeah, man, kick so, bro. This was fire. I think that this. Regardless of whatever, if it's fake or not, I still enjoyed myself and was entertained, bruh. So thank you for the reaction. This shit is fire. If you all want to go check it out on your own time on the story of, I guess his name was Thomas Washington, um, who made the blackest movie, the blackest Disney movie of all time. And when you look at it, if he did, he really did. So... Uh, again, make sure you guys are uh, subscribed to my guy Kixo uh, on his uh, wrestling channel. The link will be down in the description. Um, and le let me know down in the comments how you all felt about this story on Thomas Washington. All right, let me know. Uh, and if you got any fun facts or no, if this is fake, whatever, just let me know. I don't care. I still think the story is dope. I think it's dope to watch. If you're a fan of the Goofy movie, I definitely think it's dope to watch. Uh, so, yeah. Before I get out of here, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys leave me a like if you're new here to the channel. Make sure that you guys are hitting subscribe and tap that notification bell. So when I or we do a video just like this, you all will get it first, okay? So again, if you want to watch this on your own time, this is Childish Gambino's uh, show called Atlanta that be on uh, FX or was, or I don't know if it still is. But uh, this is from season four, and this episode was episode eight, all right? So... Uh, I'll catch you all very soon. I'll be back with the season finale of Evil Dead. 
and more Wednesday. All right. So I'm Fireworks. This is Stuart's Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. And I'm out.